station with the best, with the best luminary sounds. The number one station for independent artists. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. It's the infamous luminary sound. That's right. Hello. In the building on this beautiful day. Yes. Always here, Re- always ready. Ready to get it in. How you guys doing? Stay ready. I'm doing great, man. Seasons are changing. It's it's a new time. I, to, new time today, new day, everything. I'm hey, but you sweating really a little bit, brother. Yeah, man, I'm <laughs> over here. I'm you so, calling yeah, him out like that. You got so, laugh, miss it. <laughs> so, for some of y'all that don't know, <laughs> Luminary <laughs> community, since Junior wants to try to call <laughs> me out go, here. Let's go. I get here before everybody. Every <laughs> well, that's, that's why he's so, sweating. <laughs> so, I work hard to get everything ready. Hey. And that's why. I well, thank so, you. There you go. Thank you for that. Thank yeah, you. I, I respect that. Hey, listen, you you know what? I'm going to start being more on time. I'm here, but 15 <laughs> minutes early is really here. That's where the great ones come in. Me and Missy, we no, get in he, here. I'm here at actually. Yeah, eight, she gets here I early. get here an hour. Oh, and, she, gets here an, way, she gets here before me sometimes. Get, so I'm the one messing it all up. <laughs> So she's just she's she just messing be, it up. But. You, you know what's so funny? Missy's, okay. Missy's here so early sometimes. She just be sitting in her car and then she goes, You know that I got here? I'm like, Yeah, I saw you here. You were here way before I was. Way but you know what? what? She's sitting in her car, relaxing. Car. She's doing her work. Uh, and, and then she comes out like, Oh, yeah, you know what? Like, I just got here at 9 35. I'm like, Man, I saw you here at like 8 45. Okay. I, uh, I have a question for, uh, for people that are invested in Missy Land. Oh. Um, what is your routine before you get going? To during yeah, like when you get here, or? when you get here, you're in the radio. Like, what's your routine while you sit oh, in your car? I, How do you prep? I get here an hour and a half early, guys. Woo! Yeah, she does. She gets here early. I do. I well, when I be missing, I'm doing good. Yeah, I'll get. I get up earlier for this show than I do for my paying nine to five job. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, but I go get a coffee and then I, in it. my car, I just I do my makeup and I um I write my notes for the day show. Okay. You know what's so funny? Today I did not see you because I came from the other direction. Normally. I see her. She's like in the other parking lot, and I just drive by. I, moved, I wasn't in the other. You parking weren't in lot the other today. park. Okay, yeah. yeah. Normally she's in the other parking y'all, lot. I just drive y'all, by. Y'all don't hit any of the kids. That's out here, right? No, the kids actually are here before both of us. I want to say, right? Oh, what's yeah, going? The kids, yeah, the kids, going the kids are here before in both fact, of us. So, um, listeners, we have. I'm sure you guys have heard before. There's like a bunch of kids that play soccer right outside the studio. One day, you guys, I am going to bring up a lawn chair and watch <laughs> these kids play. Like, hey, I love it. You gonna bring so a lawn cute. chair? That's great. That's great. Um, no, I mean they are. They go out there. We got our, our future stars out there. I mean. They're always they out there the consistently. Gotta love oh, kids. and that's kind of funny. One of my trending topics has to do with a soccer player today, you guys. And Ooh. okay, listeners, we I'm have excited. because we don't have um, an interviewee today. We are taking calls from our listeners. That's right. Our phone number is eight zero five two four six five zero eight. Eight. We want to hear what you have to say about our trending topics, whatever we're talking about. Call in. We will answer. Yes. Yeah, just, sure. just, you know, make sure you don't say nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to hit that dial tone on you. If, <laughs> I mean, so you can if, say... If, they, if they're talking a little reckless, they, we got to hit the dial tone on them. They can talk crazy. They just can't talk you can't, curse words. You can't, you can't just be <laughs> cursing. Yes. We want to keep our license over here. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, be absolutely. nice to us, absolutely. people. So, um, before we get it going, um, you guys heard about the whole Tupac situation? Yes. We did. How crazy is that? So... Uh, you know what? You know the part that's crazy to me is that it's not trending on Twitter. That's what's it's crazy not? to me. No, I've been looking for two days. No, like, it's not. why is this not trending? You know who is trending? Biggie. Biggie's trending, but Tupac's not. It's so weird. To me. Okay, so uh, I have a an idea of why it might not be trending. Hmm. I think people don't believe it. It's been so long. They're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Tupac's murder, whatever. I don't think they just believe it. Twenty seven years. It's kind of like it's. I think there's just so many crazy things happening in the world that th- that people are like, oh, another crazy thing? Oh, okay. Kind yeah, that makes sense. So yeah. that's that makes where sense I think it's coming from. 28 yeah. years, actually. 28 years. Yeah, I mean, to me, I've been following it since, you know, it, it went down. And, you know, for some of you all that may not know, uh, Keefe D yeah. uh, was, you know, the one that they arrested. And they basically went in front of his, uh, he was walking in front of his sister's home. And uh, they basically, you know. That's how they got him? They got him. Uh, It was about, I want to say, in the morning, two days ago in the morning. But the thing about it is they raided his house in the past. So Right, and that's, do you guys remember that was one of my trending topics? Yes, it was. I I do do remember that. I I was going to go into that. So, you know, Missy had spoken about that before. Um, And the crazy thing, the thing that's really intriguing to me is, I'm sure you all know about the, the fight that happened in the Las Vegas 
casino involving yeah. Tupac, and he's kicking the guy on the ground. Um, Orla- and Orlando Anderson. Orlando Anderson. I might just be too young for this, you guys. It's all good. It's all good. But you so, were born when it happened. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Joking. It, it, it ain't like landed on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> we landed on the moon. I'm very young, okay. <laughs> so, so the crazy thing I was watching yesterday, and it's really interesting. Orlando Anderson has passed. Uh, there's another guy. Uh, all three of them. Died. All three of them have died. The only one that's left is Keefe D. The, so it's yeah, the shooter. The, the, the sh- and they said, well, he's saying, I guess he has a book. Um, I, I forgot the name of the book, but he wrote a book. It's a memoir of his, but it was never published. It was just in his house. Got it. Well, he he told on himself. So uh, from what people are saying, from like the Vlad, Vlad TV. So that's like mm-hmm. another thing where is. Well, and he, so. he's basically saying he was involved and he knew what was going to happen and when it was going to happen. Yeah. I don't right. know if he's said he shot him. He was the shooter per se, but he's making it sound like. Oh yeah, I pretty much like knew when all of this was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen, type of deal. Um, to me, it's just it's just really interesting. Um, I don't know if they're gonna do this. If you're gonna find Tupac's killer, keep your energy with Biggie as well. Yeah, exactly. You well, know that's what I'm why saying? Biggie's trending. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, as far as Biggie, do you think that will be solved next? I don't know if it's like a if it's like a next thing. I just think if there's evidence, they're gonna follow it. No, good well, good point. Well, I think it's interesting because there's a, a investigator that was following Biggie's case that has passed away. Mm. So I don't know who's yeah. going to take the lead now that that gentleman is gone. Interesting so. enough. Interesting enough. All the Tupac fans, you know, you get some type of um, you know solace that. They found, and especially for the family, that they found a person Jada who said allegedly murdered her. Jada said something. Jada Pinkett. Mm-hmm. Oh, she says that she was really hopeful that they are able to like have this to rest, that they're able to find out what yeah. happened, and you know. Well, you know, it's it's kind of interesting too because he just got his star on the Walk of Fame. I don't know if you all remember that mm-hmm. Tupac. Mm-hmm. Just Tupac just got a star. Yeah, okay. it was just it happened, and of course, I'm I'm really near Hollywood, so it was it was a big thing, and you know, a lot of us that live in the area, we were just like. Why hasn't this already happened? <laughs> so it's just interesting because from what I'm hearing, the family didn't want to bring attention to Tupac right. until this was resolved. Right, right. So they're wondering if the family already had some type of info that this was going to happen. And, of okay, course. we're going to go ahead and just put his star on the Walk of Fame because it happened just some weeks ago. It wasn't too long ago. His sister was there. Um, there were some people that, you know, work with him that were there. The outlaws were there. Um, so it was a big mm-hmm. thing. Um, but yeah, it was just interesting. That I was like, Tupac's finally getting a star on the yeah, Walk of Fame yeah, in Hollywood. Yeah. Um, but now it makes sense. It's all coming full circle. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, hopefully they find uh, the person who did it and lay that, you know, may you rest in peace. No. Are they saying why he was arrested? Are they saying, like, or do they have charges against him or anything? Because I have not heard that. Um, I have CNN not. broke it down. I just seen it actually today. Okay. Mm-hmm. CNN said that the way that they figured it out was he. He did a lot of interviews. He actually wrote a book. And the people, there's some new evidence that came through from witnesses that were kind of explaining what happened. And they kind of like tied it together. You know, based yeah. off of you kind of snitching on yourself, so to speak. I, I don't understand how the, the generation does this now, right? Um, Speaking of snitching on themselves. Yeah. I definitely, when, once we're done talking about this, I have, I have a comment to make on that. No, go ahead. Sure. Go ahead. We can slide in. Go. Speaking on snitching on themselves. <laughs> With the hand off. I love it. Um, Mr. Mr. Petty, Nicki Minaj's husband. Oh, Lord. Went, I heard went, about that. Went on live threatening Offset. I he, forgot all about he this. Was on, he, don't you guys remember there was a time where people wouldn't even say stuff like over the phone because they didn't want people, they didn't want to have ev- any evidence against them. And this man is threatening another man on live for when millions Instagram of people to see. Instagram live goes wrong. For millions of people to see. He, he went on live and he snitched on himself. And you want to know what? Now he's on house arrest. I for, know. Anything for clout for like Offset and 90 said. days or 120 days, something like that. A couple months at least he's on, um, he's on house well, arrest. Well, isn't but. he in trouble for like... um? Like a serious allegation of like child pornography or something crazy like that. That I won't speak on because I don't know the details. Yeah, me but neither. But I know he's in trouble for something. He's in trouble. Well, that's why he's on house arrest because he yeah. he went against like the rules of his mm. probation. But for him to be threatening people on the internet is so wild to me. Like mm. I didn't know people did that. 
It's, it's la- his last last name was Petty. That's I why know. that's crazy. That's why Nikki married him. I know. <laughs> Onika Petty. Man. Onika Petty. Man. That's why. That's why. Uh, no, that's, I'm just that's, that's interesting. I don't know why. Yeah, that's no, 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 no one knows. But that's, snitching on yourself. That's that's what's hot these days, I guess. Yeah, and it's it's crazy too. I mean, uh, shout out to uh, uh, Kai Savant, Kai, Kai Sanat. I'm sorry, because that's where Offset was when this okay. spoke. Yeah. Uh, I, lo- I love Kai. Kai's yeah. funny. I will have to say, when this whole drama came about a, cu- a couple weeks ago, I was living for it. I was check. I was checking all the videos. <laughs> I was checking all the TikToks. It was so funny to me how unbothered Offset was. He's like, yeah, "What are you talking was. about? I just came off a plane. What do you mean?" <laughs> yeah. He was making. He was dancing with was Kai, funny. and like they were over there, like I don't just making wings, just just doing just. Regular stuff. I'm, I'm happy to see uh, him in good spirits. You know, oh yeah! After everything that's happened with the family for and stuff sure. like that, so it's yeah. good. It's good to see that. I mean, that's devastating loss they went through. It took a long time. Yeah, yeah. But so, that's um, normal. but we're gonna take a quick break. This is uh, Usher. I love this song. Good, good. With Twenty One Savage, Summer Walker. We'll be right back. Let's go. 